Hello, it's a college football guy here with a late video. Um, yeah, it's been fun. I've been dealing with flat tire on the truck here, plus a loading process. I had to sit inside the warehouse waiting for this thing to get loaded up. It took four and a half hours for a 20-minute load, so yeah, it's been fun. So I'm slightly behind schedule. I can't exactly record a video inside of a warehouse. They don't like that. So we're here now in the truck, and we're doing, as requested, we're going to do the subscriber power rankings. There are 16 schools, 16 that our subscribers have said are their favorites in no particular order. Let's see. Baylor, Kansas, Arizona State, Tennessee, West Virginia, Kansas State, Boise State, Cincinnati, UNLV, Memphis, Texas Tech, San Diego State, Fresno State, Oregon State, Maryland, and Minnesota. So basically what I did with this is that everybody who is in the My Top 25, I took you in order how you are in the My Top 25. Then after that, for this one, it's based on your record and what you did. And certain teams are better than others. We're going to roll it down and do it right here. Is basically do the schedule for all four teams. All the teams involved. Okay, number one on the list for the rankings. We'll do it here. Number one. Oh my goodness, I just put the sheet down like an idiot. The power rankings are number one, Tennessee. Well, they're the highest ranking in my top 25. Victories, Ball State, beat Ball State, they're 4 0, beat Ball State 59 10, beat then ranked December 17, Pitt 34 27 overtime, beat Akron 63 6, and beat then ranked number 20, Florida 38 33. So two ranked wins. Second in the ranking is Baylor, who's 3 1. They beat Albany 69 10, lost to number then number 21, BYU 26 20 in double overtime. Beat Texas State 42-7. Beat Iowa State 31-24. Third in the list, Minnesota 4-0. Beat, they're beating New Mexico State 38-0. Beat Western Illinois 62-10. Beat Colorado 49-7. Man, Colorado, what happened? And beat Michigan State 34-7. Also another one, what happened? Fourth, Kansas 4-0. Beat Tennessee Tech 56. Oh, Jesus. 56 Oh my goodness! I didn't. Wow, I wrote it so fast. I mean, but they blew them out. Beat West Virginia fifty-five to forty-two in double overtime to pick six. Uh, wow. Beat Houston forty-eight to thirty and beat Duke thirty-five to twenty-seven. Fifth in the ranking, Kansas State three and one. Beat South Dakota thirty. Oh, listen, blew them out thirty-four nothing. Beat Missouri forty to twelve. Beat lost to Tulane seventeen to ten. How that happened, I don't know. And then come back this past week and beat number seven Oklahoma forty one to thirty four. So who's sixth in the rankings? Salt. It's Texas Tech. Texas Tech is three one on the year. They beat Murray State sixty three to ten. They beat then number twenty five Houston thirty three to thirty in two overtimes. Lost to number sixteen NC then number sixteen NC State twenty seven to fourteen, and just beat. Then number 22, Texas, 37 to 34 in overtime. So they're 2-1 and one against the top 25. They've, they've played three top 25 games already this year. That's impressive. That's where they get the spot. Next spot in the ranking, Cincinnati, also 3-1. and one. They lost to Arkansas. Then number 10, Arkansas, 31 to 24. Close loss. Beat Kennesaw State, 63 to 10. Beat Miami of Ohio, 38 to 17. And beat up on Indiana, 45 to 24. So they're moving up. Next up, we have Maryland, 3-1. They beat Buffalo 31-10, beat Charlotte 56-21, beat SMU 34-27. That's kind of close. And then lost to number four, Michigan, in Ann Arbor, 34-27. Well, hey, not bad, not bad. Then next up, we got Oregon State. This is, everybody said Oregon State. Some people had actually had Oregon State ranked in their polls, and here's the reason why I didn't rank them. Beat Boise State 34 to 17. Beat Fresno State 35 to 32. Beat Montana State 68 to 28, and barely lost to number seven USC 17 to 14. A couple of close games, no ranked wins, only a ranked loss. That's the only reason why I gave it that way. We're at number nine in the ranking. Number ten is Memphis three and one. They lost to Mississippi State 49 to 23. Beat Navy 37 to 13. Beat Arkansas State 44 to 32, and beat North Texas 44 to 34. The North Texas game for me is interesting because below that is the last three and one team, and that's UNLV. They beat Idaho State 52 to 21. Lost to Cal 20 to 14. Beat the same North Texas team 58 to 27. And they beat Utah State recently on the road, 34-24. Next up, West Virginia. 
They are 2-2. Two two. Start of the season with two losses against then number 17 Pitt 38-31 and lost to now ranked in mine Kansas 55-42 in overtime. They beat Towson State 65-7 and just beat Virginia Tech 33-10. They did come, they're on a comeback here. Now, next to the poll is we had two schools I had debated on which one was which. Who was going to get the wins here? And basically it was between San Diego State and Boise State. Both of them are 2-2. Two and two. I gave San Diego State the higher ranking because of their both of their losses are to power five schools. They lost to Arizona 38 to 20, beat Idaho State 38 to 7, lost to number 14 Utah 35 to 7, and then beat Toledo 17 to 14. Close win, but a win nonetheless. And then you got Boise State, will be 14 in our power rankings. San Diego State was 13. Boise State 14 in the rankings. They lost to Oregon State 34 to 17, beat New Mexico 31 to 14, beat UT Martin 30 to 7. But you lost to UTEP 27 to 10. How did that happen? Is Andy Avalos on the hot seat already? And now we got the only two schools that have a technical losing record. Fresno State is one and two. They are 15th in the ranking. They beat Cal Poly 35 to 7, lost to Oregon State 35 to 32, and then beat lost to number seven USC 45 to 17. So they're one and two. Worst on the list, BW knows about this. And it's not a shock to anybody. It's Arizona State. It's not for lack of talent or trying. It's the fact that, you know, just coaching. But they're in flux with Herm Edwards being fired. So this is going to be a bad year for Arizona State. But it's onward and upward. They beat Northern Arizona 40-3 to in the next three games. They lost to then number 11 Oklahoma State 34-17. to Lost to Eastern Michigan 30-21. to Then lost to number 13 Utah 34-13. to So... To finalize the rankings, if you weren't keeping up with when I was going through game by game, number one, Tennessee, two, Baylor, three, Minnesota, four, Kansas, five, Kansas State, six, Texas Tech, seven, Cincinnati, eight, Maryland, nine, Oregon State, ten, Memphis, eleven, UNLV, twelve, West Virginia, thirteen, San Diego State, fourteen, Boise State, fifteen, Fresno State, sixteen, Arizona State. That's the subscriber school power rankings, one through sixteen. Now, of the schools that are mentioned here, two of them who are six and seven, they're the two schools that are just Tennessee, Baylor, Minnesota, Kansas, and Kansas State are in my top 25. The schools rank six and seven, respectively, Texas Tech and Cincinnati. Those two, along with Wake Forest, I think are the first, the next three in. If Wake can win, they had a close, they got out of my top 25, but they had a really close loss to Clemson. I can't be mad at them. They had, they, they threw everything they had at them. That was a close loss. They should not be ashamed of that game. They played great in it. So they're a consideration. I think they're in a shot to get another spot back in it if somebody loses. And as for Texas Tech and Cincinnati, I think if they both win, somebody loses, they're going to get in. But I basically have those on there. I have a little sheet here. I'm not showing it to you. uh, Who I think are the next 10 schools that could be ranked based upon who's winning and who's scheduled are. Who's the scheduling is going to be favoring? But how much with everything being in flux so much, the list has been torn apart every week because nobody's consistent. So many upsets throws everything out the window. I mean, Middle Tennessee State being Miami proved that point. But that's the subscriber rankings for this week. You want me to do this again later on? Let me know. We shouldn't be doing it week to week. We should do it, you know, give a gap a little bit because we're struggling to get bye weeks. Tennessee's on a bye week, and then a few others. Fresno State was on a bye week this week. Ideally, I'd love to see that every one of the subscribers has at least 500 record or better. And so far, out of the 14, 16 teams, 14 have a winning record. They're 500 or better. 12, excuse me, 11 have a winning record, 14 or 500 or better. That's not bad. So we'll see what happens with this. We'll see what happens in the future. But let me know down in the comments. You want me to do this again later on or whatever? I mean, I'd like to do it at the end of the year if you guys are up for it. You know, prior to the bowl season, then po- do a bowl season ranking, maybe. I'm also going to do, I'm going to do a mid-season ranking once we get to, I think, after week six. I find out everybody's got six games in, probably maybe week seven. A ranking mid-season of how the conferences are faring. Who's the best group, power five and who's the best group of five and how they fare. So we'll see how that goes. So that's a future video, but that's a while down the road, although we're not that far away. So let me know down in the comments what you think about everything. As always, like, comment, share. Everything helps the analytics. It helps the channel that gets out there. It helps it to be seen. Do everything, please. Thank you very, very much. And if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. 
got some trying to do some good stuff here and try to get some things to get this channel to grow so thanks everyone for this very late video because it's been a very fun night and i gotta try to crawl in the bed and be back up in six hours but uh thanks everyone for watching the video thanks for everything and always please be good to each other